Passion is the currency only of the living. Meaning the living are trading in passion, not dollars, euros, pounds, rands or bands that make 16 year old strippers dance. I said passion is the currency only of the living. So what is your passion? What currency are you living in? What land are you standing in? What sand are you digging in? What castles are you building? What knowledge are you giving and to whose children? What makes you feel alive in the morning? What makes you smile at the sun's dawning? What values are you pawning? Let this be a warning that you can't forever be mourning the memories of days gone past. I said passion is the currency only of the living. So you are either living or dying. If you're dying, you better start writing. And if you're writing, you better start writing. And if you're writing, your words better start rising like corpses from the grave off of your blood-stained page into the air that we breathe like an airborne disease so the hopeless can breathe it. Maybe then they will start to believe it, to believe in this revolution that for so long was all mouth but no talk, all clout but no walk, all service but no delivery, all noise but no voice, all ears but no never hears that passion is the currency of the living. Which leads me to believe that this revolution should be passion-filled and not loophole riddled. Those that trade in passion must start a movement, a movement that will force in a revolution. A revolution majestic on paper but realistic in nature. A revolution ideological in pretext but biological in context, in layman's terms. A revolutionary movement that will be an evolutionary testament that Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King Jr., Jesse Jackson, Ida B. Wells, Rosa Parks, Lilian Ungoy, Robert Subukwe, Steve Biko, Governor Becky, Oliver Tambo, Walter Sulu, Shada McLeke, Albertine Sulu, Amy Beal, Miriam Makeba, and Mary Malasela can be proud of. A revolution that will rest their souls in peace and put their hearts at ease. For mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles, ancestors and predecessors have given birth to a nation, fornicated a new generation that will redefine freedom, better define equality, dissolve poverty, resolve unemployment. Passion is the currency of the living. So, what is your passion? What's your dream revolution? What do you want to invest in? What land are you standing in? What quicksand are you drowning in? What currency do you trade in? What passion are you bartering? Whose bread are you buttering? Whose evolution do you believe in? What creation are you worshipping? So I ask you one last time, what is your passion? Your plan for this revolution? I want you to answer these questions so we can be a youth that has learnt its lessons and paid its attentions. A youth that draws its power from passion, purpose and direction bringing a wave of new age change so let's replace the word power with passion and no longer say power to the people but rather say passion to the people passion by the people passion for the people because passion is the currency of the living